Well, hello, it's Henry here again. And uh, this video is going to be about some of the fixes I've done to this RV from the standpoint of making improvements to make uh, living in the RV kind of nicer. Some of these things are really little simple things. Some of them are far more substantial. And so I uh, hang on your mm. hat. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, now let's have a look around the RV. Let's start up here in the dash area. Now I've done videos on this before. Uh, but uh, just to show you, I, one of the things I feel is that I want to have as much information as I can when I'm running my RV. Because these things are expensive, and at least we know what, uh, what we're doing. So on the window here, I have a jack to hold up the cell phone, and that gives me Google Maps and all the rest of it. You can see here on the dash, these little lights here. Uh, the, uh, these switches are not illuminated in the nighttime. And so what happens is you can't see your dash at all. So Canadian Tire had these little micro switches. So there's four of these little lights with one. And then I plug those in over here and you turn them on. Let's just select them on here for now. And you can see there's the blue glow and it's shining at the name of the switch. And it works really well. And uh, so I've been very pleased at how all that works. So I built this 12 volt switch panel here to support all of that. I also have some instrumentation, and again, I have videos on this, but uh, this uh, particular one here is an ultra gauge, which is connected to the computer of the RV, and it shows um, various engine parameters and so forth. And on top here is uh, the mount I use for my uh, <clears throat> uh, scan gauge, which is a similar device and it has uh, other parameters that I can't get on the ultra gauge. So I have it in my Jeep right now, but it goes up there. Notice I put the height in uh, the RV and the width of the RV. Sometimes you forget. And uh, when you're driving down the road, this is a vacuum gauge, which shows boost and vacuum uh, as it drives. Uh, this is uh, my toy. Uh, it's an airspeed indicator from an ultralight airplane. And so this takes ram air from in front of the RV and it works pretty well. It's kind of neat to watch as it uh, changes as you go along. Uh, this is a, my battery monitor. Right now it's uh, discharging because of the light that's on. Uh, this is a mirror I have to look in the back, see what's going on. This is the switch control I have for the power supply for the fridge. So if we're on ground power, it's GSE. If we're running off of the inverter, it's aux. And if we're running on the propane, it's straight up and down. This way I can run the fridge as I'm driving by putting it on the inverter's power and I can drive, have my gas turned off as I'm driving, which is what I prefer to do. This panel here is designed, it's simply paper uh, and I can, uh, reminds me of the things I have to remember before I drive away. And so those are some things that I set up. I also, as you'll see later, we have a little uh, kind of electric uh, cook stove that we sit right in this area here for ambiance and uh, what I also did here's the uh, TV in the center of the RV and what I wanted to do was way back over here in the, the dinette I wanted to have my computer and I wanted to be able to have uh, show computer videos on the screen this is a smart screen so that does work and so what I did is I ran the cables underneath the couch and underneath everything and here's the VGA and the uh, uh, audio cable. When I did it, I didn't have a computer that had HDMI. So this works anyway. So it goes underneath all of that. And then when I pull the slide out, this box here, I have the cables just underneath the couch. I connect them to that box. And then the cables go underneath. They go up the pillar and in behind here and ultimately into the TV. Uh, and so you can use an extended uh, screen mode with that. And then so you can do something with your computer and still show a video. And that works really good. So I'm very pleased with how that's been working. And so what happens is, is if we put the stove up, then the DVD player sits on top of the stove and it plugs into those uh, plugs right there. And that allows um, for the DVD to go through and around and be uh, projected on the screen when it's set up properly. Also over here, you can see down there is my 12 volt uh, kettle and that my wife can use when we're driving along to make uh, hot water for a tea or something like that and it seems to work she's used it two or three times on the big trip and she seems to really enjoy it so that's quite nice i have another charging system here for phones 
and also for a spotlight if we're looking for campgrounds or something like that from the cab campground signs or something like that uh, and uh, there's also a small inverter here too uh, for about 150 watts of power if necessary so so there's some different things that you can do here i also put in a seat my wife has back difficulty so we put this in and this allows for her to massage or warm her to warm the seat up and so on it's just very nice now, i was able to buy from walmart uh, a long time ago i've never seen it again this particular folding foot uh, uh like ottoman and it only cost me about 11 or 12 dollars canadian and you open it up and zip it together and uh, it's just wonderful you can't sit on it i don't know if it would hold that and i made a an envelope to hold it in uh, out of uh leatherette so it works really well and behind here <clears throat> the behind the easy chair i have my tools i have my easy shoes and underneath i have uh generally speaking my uh, right now i don't have it there because i have them in the workshop but those are the knee pads i mentioned earlier in another video and here's my auxiliary supply so we plug that in as well if we're using 15 amps we can plug it into two different circuits and it gives us double the power works really well and of course here's the inverter 600 watt uh, ames power inverter which really works well and so then on the wall behind the chair i've attached different things we have our fire extinguisher we have our dustpan and our broom and so forth all these things make life a bit easier the other thing we want to do <clears throat> is i've attached uh, clothes hangers here and at the front along with the fly swatter and two more on this side it does make it a little tight when you're coming in the door but it's still nice uh, auxiliary lighting these are little lanterns let me just take a minute here and pull it out so that's one of them there and they're pretty bright <clears throat> and uh, they're really helpful if you're doing something because they're hands-free so they were given to me and we really enjoy those we have another set of lights that are a bit more bright a bit brighter than these <clears throat> we use them outside if necessary for trying to trying to set up the vehicle after hours all right so let's have a look <clears throat> here in the kitchen cupboards here's the dishes so i put this rack in here and so i could stack things a bit differently and that's worked really well also, you want to get nesting things. One of them's missing right now, but we got these nice ones here. I've also been after my wife to limit the number of things we have in the RV. Here's, uh, again, we have three compressible bowls here uh, and a few mugs in our glassware, and that's it. And then down here, I have a compressible uh, tub and a larger bowl, which really work well. <clears throat> this uh, black thing here it used to be a video cabinet in the old days of uh, VHS and so we, we got rid of those <clears throat> and now we use it as a pantry so when we're parked we'll put that over here in that location and we can store different things in it uh, we also don't drink the water from the fresh water tank you probably can but we just don't do that so we have a, <clears throat> a decanter that we sit on top of this as well for our fresh water I replaced the drawer guides and some of these, uh, but that's no big deal. Uh, now we did some things here in the shower. <clears throat> so when you have a swimming event, you often have dripping suits. So I put uh, racks in the shower here for to hang that. That works pretty well. Uh, and also, and also, uh, we have the shower head. I replaced it uh, with a better one, and also a shutoff valve here, so that uh, when you get the temperature right. <clears throat> then you can just turn that off if you're doing a navy style shower and so the holder on the wall broke off that does work still but the shower because it's a bit bigger now will fall on the floor when you're driving so we're always worried about that so that does come down and that's why the shower is down here right now uh, because we're uh, it's prepared for travel <clears throat> these glass doors is interesting when you have a shower if you just wipe them off with the towel uh, you don't get any water stains, and they work really well. So I'm pretty happy with how that's gone uh, forward. In the bathroom, <clears throat> the bathroom had the toilet paper rack way in the back corner like this, which may make sense, I guess, but it's a pretty, it's a lot to twist around. And so uh, we decided to put one here into the door. And that's much easier for everyone, and it wasn't difficult to, to put on. I had a, a problem with this door here. 
this is the door that closes for the bedroom uh, and um, it wouldn't close very easily <clears throat> and I realized that a repair had been made and the screws here stuck out too much in the hinges and so when I put different screws in there uh, the door these uh, the door now closes very easily which is wonderful <clears throat> so sometimes the fix isn't that difficult this particular cabinet here behind the shower uh, we found these baskets originally they came from my mother's place and then I was able to get some additional ones that fit so we can put actually eight of them in these racks and they fit like they were built for them and this allows you to organize things way better than you would otherwise be able to Up, uh, also this hanger uh, used to come loose all the time so just a little bit of duct tape has kept that from moving around and that makes it very nice when you're hanging something on it again more of the hooks here for things camera tripod can be secured here uh, uh, the back TV which is of course a C, not a, a video screen so I can't play um, computer videos in the bedroom but I can play DVDs and so on and then I put all my operating manuals in these black binders so things look a little neater that way. <clears throat> With the bed, we uh, originally had the original bed. It wasn't too bad, but we ultimately decided there's the mattress that came with the RV. And then we put three inches of thermal foam on top of it. And gosh, that, that's just like home. It works really, really well. So we're very pleased with that. I also installed <clears throat> here at the end. It's hard to see. I'm going to try and get it underneath here. There's a, an outlet, and uh, I have run the cord down. So if uh, my wife is sitting on the end of the bed, say with a hairdryer or something like that, she can plug it in there. It's much more convenient. Uh, and she often does do that. <clears throat> so that's been a bit of a help. Uh, it's hard to show, but I've run USB cables up here so you can charge your phone at night and things like that. You also see the Kleenex dispenser there. That's what they call a pop tissue thing, I guess. So there's one, I just love these things. So there's, you get the little square Kleenex boxes. So I've got one there. I've got another one right there in the bathroom. <clears throat> and then we have two more here in the living room, one over the uh, seating in the dinette and one at the end of the couch. So it's just a great place to put a Kleenex type box and not have to have them laying around on the countertops. Okay. I did some other things in the bedroom as well here. <clears throat> uh, the closet, let's turn on some lights. And here's the wardrobe closet that we have, closet we have in the RV. And so what I've done is I put some things around the walls that uh, are really a big help for storage that don't get in the way. So first off, atop we have the hangers. I went and got hangers that have rubber on them, <clears throat> so the clothes don't fall off anymore, which is a really big help. On the wall at the upper left there is a set of three nested screens you can put over food on a picnic table to keep the flies away. This is a drying rack, which works We, if you have been uh, swimming or something like that and you have a bunch of towels. Uh, if you set this up at nighttime in the dining room of the RV, or maybe the next day, it dries them out very nicely. Uh, there's a carpet sweeper here on the wall. Uh, this is a bathroom scale. And we have two TV tables here that fold up against the wall. And I put a, a mat in here <clears throat> because sometimes I put my hiking boots there. So this closet has a lot of utility. The other thing I did was I mounted a light. And you can see it just behind here. And there it's on now uh, to be able to see the closet. It's just battery powered and works very nicely. So this has been a space that we've used a great deal. Now, it was interesting, and different people on the RV world say they don't really like all the mirrors uh, <clears throat> when you're, especially in the bedroom and so forth. Uh, I don't know. I think it makes the RV look bigger. We enjoy them. Uh, they're not really uh, in your face, so to speak, when you're sitting there. But as you can see, the reflections make the ve vehicle look larger. So in all honesty, I, I don't really mind them. We have also the one on the door of the bathroom here. And we have a big one here in... The dining room, which doubles the size of the RV, plus there's mirrors on the cabinets up at the front. So lots of mirroring uh, and even around the stove. Now, everybody can argue what's nice and all the rest of it, but to be honest with you, we really like the colors. Uh, I know I'm old-fashioned. I'm not supposed to like new things, <clears throat> but 
with the new rigs where you see a lot of black and white, I just don't see how that's a homey. It makes me think I live in a bathroom. So I'm kind of enjoying the colors we have here. Uh, did a few other things. This cabinet here, which I can't open completely, uh, is a utility cabinet. And I put a shelf in about here. So we can put um, foldable racks in here. Below is potable water and uh, a lantern. Uh, and so forth and that's of course a gas lantern or uh, sorry battery powered lantern and we have drawers as well as you might expect another innovation i did in this one was this closet which had been a wardrobe and i put three shelves in it so that allows us to keep um things the way we'd like them so that's been a big help and the, the dean asked me to do that wanted to show this compartment uh the, this is as you can see, it's pretty stuffed. Uh, so those wooden blocks that you see, I put those underneath the um, pads of the leveling system, uh, the jacks. Uh, we can jack the front off the ground. You don't want to do that on the back or you lose your brakes. Uh, the sewage hose is there. Uh, it's a, one of those rhino hoses and you can cap the ends. There's no odor, it works very well. And then to the left is my electrical cords. And what I did, it's hard to see probably, we'll get in close here, I got these uh, plastic dividers like you would sort out magazines and gosh they work great for sorting these cords so they're not a, a rat's nest if you need something so this has been uh, really effective and then the uh, adapters and so forth so this has been a big help anyhow so those are some innovations that I've made in this RV and there's of course a whole bo boat of of other ones that I have done that I did in little tiny fixes here and there but it's it's the kind of thing you like to do in, in addition just to fixing the stuff that breaks that makes your rv a home and makes it a little more comfortable to live in and more enjoyable uh, so I, I really appreciate all of you watching my channel uh, and thank you very much until next time this is henry